Today we'll talk about 12 rules for life by Jordan Peterson. First rule says, stand up straight with your shoulders back. Basically, by learning the rules of interaction, we gain a better understanding of our responsibilities and our rights, which then helps us operate our lives much better. Adding to that, that our posture impacts our emotion. Our emotion impacts our thoughts, our thoughts generate our decisions, our decisions create our life. Imagine with me, if we're around a person who is a bully or doesn't necessarily have the best interest of the people around them in mind, they are far more likely to pick a person who seems lost in terms of social rules. The second rule of 12 rules for life is Take care of yourself as if you're someone you're responsible for helping. We sometimes feel the need to be negligent with ourselves in the name of caring for our loved ones. While that may indicate that we're good-hearted, it actually backfires. Resentment can manifest itself and our care becomes inauthentic. We simply cannot pour from an empty cup. So let's help each other by helping ourselves first. The third rule of 12 rules for life is make friends with people who want the best for you. We sometimes think that it's just a dream, a luxury to have friends that are good for us. Well, it's actually our responsibility to choose friends that are good for us. What are the characteristics of those friends exactly? There are friends who are honest with us when they see us drifting away from our goals and dreams. There are also friends who are supportive and encouraging when they see us putting in work trying to improve our lives. And lastly, there are friends who would be inspired and improve if they see us improve. Well, what about those others that don't want the best for us? They're often friends who've selectively dropped responsibilities in their lives and seeing us improve reminds them of their shortcomings. Remember, the spirit of cynicism and helplessness spread as well as the spirit of hard work and productivity. The fourth rule of 12 rules for life is compare yourself to who you were yesterday and not to who someone else is today. Easier said than done. There are a few principles to help guide us stay on track. One, we must check in with ourselves and continue to recheck. Why you ask? Because we can't fix something we don't know is broken. We must continually look within us for any unnecessary suffering that can be reduced. We're even encouraged to ask for help because all realities will not help us unless we put in the effort ourselves to improve. Another principle that can help us stay on track is to remember to attend to the day while aiming at the highest good. We must remember that winning is not necessarily growing and that happiness is to be found in the journey uphill, not in our arriving. So we must do our duties and responsibilities voluntarily, without resentment and in gratitude. Rule number five is do not let your children do anything that makes you dislike them. It's necessary for our children to have healthy and genuine attention from both their peers and adults. That will provide them with a stable mental health and well social integration. How do we foster these kinds of events exactly? Well, clear rules make for secure kids and calm rational parents. Who wouldn't want that? For rules to be most effective, they are best written, discussed and refined periodically. A first example, no hitting, biting, kicking, unless for self-defense. A second example, take care of your belongings because you need to learn how to and because you are fortunate to have them. A third example, be a good company when something fun is happening so that you're always invited for the fun. Now that we've covered the general outline, let's go into psychological blocks that may be in the way for parents. First advice, we must tolerate the momentary anger directed at us by our children children in the events of teaching and disciplining. A second advice, we must maximize learning for our children so they become bright and golden. A third advice, children test the limits of social rules. In order for us as parents to guide them to a healthy behavior, we must remain in control and positively reinforce good behavior. The sixth rule of 12 rules for life is set your house in perfect order before you criticize the world. When tragedy hits in our lives, we are more prone to asking questions like why me? Why do people suffer? What kind of planet is this? The emotional impact can be so harsh that we feel the need to blame someone or something for an outlet. These states of mind uncared for can impact our behavior in things like retreating to ignorance, pursuing mindless pleasures, even escaping by demonstrating general weakness. Now that we went over the problem, let's talk about solutions. How can we propel ourselves 
out of this dark pit? Well, the most effective way to make the world a better place is to take total responsibility of our life experience, our emotions, our thoughts, and our actions. Once that happens, our suffering will tremendously drop because now we have something to do about it. So let's do something today that our future selves will thank us for it because we deserve it. The seventh rule of 12 rules for life is pursue what is meaningful, not what's expedient. The irrefutable fact is that we all have to work in life as a foundational stage to survive and as a successive stage to find meaning. While surviving is becoming increasingly easier, the majority of us is now contending with finding meaning. We sometimes try to find meaning in pursuing pleasures, but that route has been proven to be continually fleeting, inexhaustible, and in some cases, degenerating. On the bright side, however, pursuing things that are sustainable to self, enhancing of others, life, and the future can bring much greater rewards and are much more satisfying than doing easier things that have less meaning. I'm a big believer in breaking things down to small steps. So a simple guide to pursuing something meaningful is to improve something immediate and doable in our environment that we could still be proud of. Here's a poetic inspiration for you. Meaning is the place where we are guided by love and speaking the truth. The eighth rule of 12 rules for life is tell the truth or at least don't lie. The most dangerous lies aren't the ones we tell others, they're the ones we tell ourselves. That usually happens when we are disconnected from our purpose. That's when we are stubborn to change even though we know we're on the wrong path. So what are practical things that we can do to stay in truth and keep connected with our purpose? One, what's purpose? It's a big word. What do we want in life? What do we want this year, this week, this hour? For example, my purpose recording this video is to enjoy recording it and provide thought stimulating ideas that you may find valuable. Two. We then observe how we behaved and evaluate that. After I record this, I'm gonna watch it and I may notice moments where I was in close alignment with my purpose and moments where I wish I was in closer alignment with my purpose. Having a framework built on truth and purpose can make our progress more exciting and we can continually envision the future and move towards it. So let's live in truth and constantly check and recheck that we are. And I quote, every bit of learning is a little bit of death and rebirth of something better. To stay connected to the truth is to bring forth the most habitable reality into being. The ninth rule of 12 rules for life is assume the person you're listening to knows something that you don't. A good conversation is a tool of organizing the mind, thinking and learning. It can help us reposition ourselves in better and better ways in the world. A conversation that seeks the truth is inspiring, engaging and meaningful. It's a conversation where we're stable enough to feel secure but flexible enough to transform. It's like listening to good music. As Jordan puts it, it's when our souls connect. Remember, continually seeking knowledge is the highest form of wisdom. The 10th rule of 12 rules for life is be precise in your speech. You may be thinking, everything is interconnected, why be precise? It helps us maintain trust and harmony between each other. We sometimes hide things in the fog. We may rationalize that they aren't important or they are uncomfortable to mention. The more vague we are, the more things bleed into each other and our world becomes more complex. Our imagination is actually so powerful that leaving things in the fog becomes more burdening than bringing them into light. Like the wise saying goes, discipline may weigh ounces, but regret weighs tons. On the other hand, being precise is a form of honesty. It can kickstart the journey of healing, improving, upgrading. Ending with a quote, don't hide baby monster under the carpet because it will grow in the dark, jump out and devour you. Truthfulness will render your life simpler. The 11th rule of 12 rules for life is do not bother children when they are skateboarding. Any challenging activity that allows a person to triumph over it requires courage. It is certainly not about being safe. It's about facing danger straight on, which develops competency. This is a much greater form of operating life than seeking safety. It's much more fulfilling to be competent than protected. 
After we practice any kind of skill, we get a sense of accomplishment, confidence. But during practice, it's time for the real grind, overcoming weaknesses and fears. People build character by pushing themselves and pushing one another. A strong character possesses qualities like humility, gratitude, kindness, service to others, and courage. Therefore, we must continuously aim to move up on that scale. Don't bother children when they are skateboarding. The 12th rule of 12 rules for life is pet a cat when you encounter one on the street. While competition is for the advancement of different aspects of our lives, cooperation is for security and companionship. If not for our limitations as human beings, we would have no stories. For example, most of us find babies to be cute and adorable not only because they are, but because of their fragility and limitations. Another example is Superman and all the superheroes have at least one limitation. Otherwise, they would be too boring and they would have no story. It seems to me that this rule is about bringing everything together. Yes, we need rules for predictability, advancement, and to avoid chaos. But we need to balance that out with connectedness, compassion, and meaning. Pet a cat when you encounter one on the street or at home. So there you have it, shameless plug. If you would like a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me to help you advance in whatever endeavors you currently have, check out the link in the description for my offerings. If you like this video and you're a fan of Jordan Peterson, I'm sure you will love the classic seven habits of highly effective people by Stephen Covey. Link right here and I'll see you there. Peace.